This reads better right side up. So I am Mother Earth and I'm old. I'm a little cranky lately. Hey, Elvis, it's me, Mother Earth. I've come with a special message for everyone. First, introduce me to your friends and come sit by me. Hi, Mother. This is my good friend, Foxy Fred the Fox. And my, my other pal, this is Bert the Bear. Oh, Bert. Hi, friends. You're all welcome. Did y'all know that April 22nd is Earth Day? Ooh. Did you? Ooh. Not really. What's that all about? Why, my friends, it's all about God's creations and how to protect and care for them. People around the world raise awareness on how to protect our Earth's natural resources. There are several ways people can participate. You can pick up trash and litter, ugh. Or you can reduce waste, you can recycle, or you can just celebrate by going to one of our many lovely, especially in California, parks and beaches. God created all of these wonders for us to enjoy. And take care of. You betcha. We, we, we love the trees, my friends. We, we love the grass and the flowers and, and just about everything, uh, especially in the spring. Come on, come on, guys. Let's go. We can pick up some trash and, and recycle stuff and, 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 oh, oh, hey, hey, before you get too excited, did you know there are many verses in our Bible that talk about God's creations? A lot of them are in Genesis. For example, Genesis 2.19. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work and keep it. And he warned man to take care of his land too when he said, Thou shalt not pollute the land in which you live, for blood pollutes the land, and no atonement shall be made for the land, for the blood that is shed in it, except by the blood of the one who shed it. And lastly, one of my favorites, you have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens, and the fish of the sea, and whatever passes along the paths of the sea. But ask the beasts, and they will teach you. The birds of the heaven, and they will tell you or the bushes of the earth, and they will teach you, and the fish of the sea will declare to you, who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every living thing. Here, Albus, you read some, please. Okie dokie, Mother. Here's something from Psalm 8. You have given him... Uh, the wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, and the calf and the lion and the fat and the calf together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the wean child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. Wow, that sure sounds as if God loves all his creatures. He certainly did, and he still does. And God, God made the beasts, beasts of the earth, earth according to their kinds, and, and the livestock according to their kinds, and everything that creeps on the earth according to his kind. And God saw that it was good. Well, thank you, Mother. So, so my friend Shelley told me this wonderful story that he read in a library book, of course, about a, a fourth grade can-do person who, who worked to save the sea turtles. Well, she was at the beach one day and she noticed that there were some, some baby sea turtles that had, had dried up and, and died. And she wondered what happened. H had, they been, had they been poisoned? Had, had they been blocked from, from going to the sea by, by litter? She, she didn't really know what had happened. But it turned out that after talking to the scientists and reading some articles, that the problem was the click of a thousand light switches. 
it turns out that that when the mom turtles come out of the ocean and the sea, they they would lay a hundred eggs in the sand and then they would leave. And two months later, the eggs would hatch. And these baby sea turtles all alone have to make their way to the sea. But what happens when there are lights on in uh, beach houses and condos and, and stuff like that? It, it confuses the poor little sea turtles and they get turned around, they get lost and they end up uh, drying out and, and dying. So the kids decided that wasn't just some sad story and, and well, what are we gonna do about it anyway? They decided that there was something that they can do. So they raised money and they got out the word to newspapers and radio stations, TV. They talked to scientists. They talked to their teachers and politicians. And now there are ordinances that tell people to lower their shades, to limit unnecessary lighting. And they just have to do it a few times a year to save sea turtles. And it is a very simple act to save some vulnerable creatures, but she is a real hero. Hooray, yay, it was good indeed. Hey, let's have a picnic after church and praise God's creation. You are all invited. Hooray, hooray, yay. Hooray.